Hi again, guys. So I'm back home after my short little Thanksgiving trip. I'm sitting around the house, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, maybe what I should do. And you know what I came up with? I thought maybe I should look at some baseball cards. I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite sets now, because... I haven't shown you any of those yet, because <laughs> they're all my favorite sets. Um, I actually wanted to show you this set for a long time, and I've uh, recently had some requests to show it too, so that's perfect. So that is the Psychedelic Era 1972 top set. These cards were really indicative of the area. You know, I, I think of Johnny Bravo on the Brady Bunch when I see these cards. So we'll start off with, um, <clears throat> I have a couple packs of these. This was a wax pack. So that's what that looked like. And then these also came in these boxes. And that's what that looked like. Now you might not be familiar that Tops actually tried to do a well, not tried to do, they did a test of the um, cloth in 1972. I'm not sure if you're aware of that, but these cards are very rare. I guess they were uh, uncut sheets in Topps' possession. Uh, they, were just, I don't believe they were ever distributed. So I think the only ones that remained were sheets that were at the Topps factory. And this is what they looked like. So you can see the difference between the card and the cloth. These are almost always found separated from the backing. Uh, that's pretty common. And sometimes it's a little miscut, um, even short. Like for instance, here's one that's a little, that's a little cut short. So that's what the cloth tests look like. Um, I also love the Opeachy cards in this set. Now, my favorite Opeachy cards are actually in the 73 set because the 73 set, I just love the rough cut. And the 73 Opeachy is a real rough cut. Um, and I just think they look cool. Now, the 72s and other Opeachies have that rough, uh, but not quite as bad. Uh, so here are some Opeachy cards that I have in this set. They're pretty much the same on the back, unlike some other Opeachy sets, except these have a, a little bit of a different color. They're more vibrant of a color. So there's uh, Clemente in action, Opeachy. Here's beautiful Johnny Bench in action. You could see, I don't know if you could tell. If I hold these up to another card, you could see the difference in color there. These are more dull, these are brighter. Um, so if you're ever wondering and you if you turn them over, you can usually tell it's an Opeachy right away. We got Manny Sanguian. This card is just beautiful. Doc Ellis. This is Rennie Stennett's rookie card. One of my favorite cards from the set is Willie Stargell. This is maybe my favorite Willie Stargell card. I don't know why. Maybe it just reminds me of... Uh, when I was young, because, you know, I started watching Willie Stargell years later, a few years later, and so this was an older card of his that, uh, you know, I got. I had a babysitter who gave me a lot of 71s, 72s, and 73s. I, I, my first recollection of opening a pack was in 73, although I didn't have a lot. And so that was pretty much the first time I had ever seen a 72, 71s, um, is when she gave me a box of them. The Clemente World Series. Really nice Thurman Munson. In action. Frank Robinson. And these these leader cards, again, because I was a Stargell fan, and they also had Hank Aaron, were two of my favorites growing up. You know, when you're a little kid, you don't decipher between the leader's cards and the regular cards, or whether it was a rookie card back then. It was... You know, I was just enamored to have Willie Stargell and Hank Aaron on the same card, so I thought these cards were, were special, you know, to me when I was young. And then uh, Alou Brock. Now we'll get into the tops. I have a great 72. 
I guess it's a partial set. I, I don't have it checklisted, but I have um, tons of them and lots of the high numbers. At one time, I had them in a binder, <clears throat> and I had most of them. I, I was missing a number of high numbers, but over the years, I've picked so many up that I should have at least a near set. So I have a Nolan Ryan autographed card. Just love this. A tough card, the Steve Garvey, and this is his second year card. This was always a tough one to find growing up for me. So I'm happy to have that. The Clemente throwing a ball up. Classic image. The inaction Clemente. The Topps Willie Stargell. Got a nice nine Al Oliver. Hank Aaron in action. This card's tough to find centered. A great traded Steve Carlton. Good deal for the Phillies, man. Greg Lazinski, and that's his second year card. We got uh, Lou Brock, the tops. Great Bobby Mercer in action. Tony Taylor. And this card, I mean, it just jumps out at you. You know, who remembers ever watching Frank Robinson play for the Dodgers? Played for one year only. Got the Carlton Fisk rookie card in this set. There's an autograph, Jim Northrup. Rick Dempsey autograph card. And one of my favorite Reggie Jacksons. I love the Reggie Jackson in action in this set. I think it's a really beautiful card. <clears throat> Got John Milner's rookie card. Got my man uh, Richie Zisk's R Richie Zisk's rookie card. Got the Jim Cott. Great card. And the Rod Carew. Now these in actions, they had puzzles on the back. So you could see. We're starting to get Tom Seaver put together there. Just love the in-action cards. Bill Mazeroski's last card. It's the regular Reggie Jackson. Jose Cruz. He was good when I was young. He was a good ball player. Gene Alley. It's a shortstop for the Pirates. Willie Horton. <clears throat> this is a high number, right? Lou Pinella. George Foster. That's his second year card. Yaz. Doc Ellis Tops. This is a tough card. Jose Cardinal. Traded, high number. All the traded's are tough. Wait, Wilhelm. Felix Milan. I used to love to watch him bat. He choked way up on the bat. You could see there was almost as much bat handle as there was bat. <clears throat> Tim Foley. He also choked pretty far up on the bat. He's batted second. On my 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates Championship team, Joe Torre, Jose Pagan, Jerry Royce, I'm um, making a mess over here. Got the Pirates. Of course, they won the series in 71, so that shows them as the world champions. I have to have a few of those. We have a autograph Manny Sanguian. Non-autograph Manny Sanguian. <laughs> so you got the World Series games here. Some great poses.
Steve Blass just had a great World Series. Jackie Hernandez, it's short. <clears throat> Brooks Robinson, the human vacuum. Got an autograph, Bill Buckner. It's a shame he's remembered for that one play because he was a good player and he doesn't really deserve that, but that's what happens. Autographed Harmon Killebrew. Autographed Brooks Robinson. Autographed Tommy John. Autographed Dave Cash. Here's the uh, Johnny Bench. Regular Nolan Ryan, unsigned. Unsigned Brooks. Unsigned Dave Cash. <laughs> if I have them signed, I'd like to get a second one if I can. J.R. Richards, rookie. Great pitcher. Had to have a couple of those. Extra Clemente in action. Got a couple Willie Mays. Got another Willie Mays. <clears throat> Got a couple of these. These are these are really common to find off uh, center. They're really hard to find center. <clears throat> Hank Aaron. Got another Hank Aaron in action. Tom Seaver. Gaylord Perry. Really cool looking card there. Uh, he was a good ball player. Tom Seaver in action. Thurman Munson. This was another tough card when I was growing up. We all wanted, and that's the Rod Carew. Willie Stargell in action. Pete Rose. Pete Rose in action. I just love this Harmon Killebrew in action. <clears throat> Another Steve Carlton traded. Joe Morgan traded. Regular Joe Morgan. Frank Robinson. Tony Perez. Willie McCovey. Juan Marichal, Al Kaline, the regular Steve Carlton. Oop, I got a few of those. Carl Yaz, Craig Nettles, and I really like that card of him. Raleigh Fingers, Dusty Baker. Sal Bando. Oop, I got another Richie Zisk rookie. <laughs> Catfish Hunter. John Matlack. Rookie card. Who knows the famous hit he gave up? Anyone? Anyone? He gave up Clemente's 3,000. Gene Tennis. Roy White. Frank Howard, Ed Crampool, in action, Ron Santo in action, Bobby Gritch, that would be his second year card, 71 was his rookie, Darrell Evans, There's some cool action photos in the interactions. And I just love this Norm Cash card. It's a great looking card. <clears throat> Don Clendenin. Willie Montanez. Wilbur Wood. 
Great in action there. John Blue Moon Odom. That's a great card. Pat Dobson. Doc Ellis. Bobby Bonds. Great in, a uh, in action of him. Jim Rooker. Uh, Daryl Porter's rookie card. Good catcher. Charlie Huff's rookie card. John Milner's rookie card. Mickey Rivers. Andy Messersmith. Mike Quaylar. Claude Osteen. And they also had these boyhood photos. There's your Stargill. Really cool Jerry Kuzman in action. Burt Campaneris. Cesar Cedeno. Tony Oliva. Tony La Russa. Ricky Jennings. <clears throat> Ken Singleton. And I always love this Nelly Bryles. Mickey Lolich. Mark Belanger. Jerry Kuzman. His rookie car is worth a lot of money. <laughs> Because it's with Nolan Ryan. Richie Allen. Dave Concepcion. Here's the Brooks Robinson boyhood photos. Denny McLean traded. Jim Fregosi traded. Rick Wise traded. Jay Johnstone. I'm going to... End it there. I got a bunch more over here. We'll just end it there. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching.